What's up, everybody? It's Showtime and it's Blazer King with King's Critique saying we're here for the Aventurine trailer officially. Got the email this morning when I was just about going to bed. Well, not email, Facebook message, because apparently that's a thing if you're like to the Facebook thing is they send you the messages directly about the trailers being uploaded, which is sick for the record. But that being said, let's hop into it real quick because I gotta finish at least recording this and go tend to other dumb things. So, uh,. Are you pulling for adventuring? Are you not? I'll probably ask again at the end of the thing, so let's get to it. Oh, hold, hold, pog. Pause, pog, I forgot. Hold on. God, I do this for these videos. But um, 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 but um. Move that down just a touch. you had the chance to make a 2,000% return, but risked losing 100% of your principal, what would you do? <laughs> the math is simple. There's no way to define the value of a single chip. But I believe a chip is worth a miracle. The dice are cast. It's all or nothing now. This is humanity in its most primitive form. But life would be quite dull if it were just an unending series of wins, wouldn't it? You go. Welcome, challenger. Let me see. Are you brave or foolish? Ah, uh, no, dungeon dice monsters. <laughs> Let's raise the stakes. The wager will be life and death, and the prize, everything. There seems to be a slight misunderstanding, my friend. At this table, you are the challenger. <laughs> because unlike the house, the gambler knows exactly what they want. You see? I love the unique little twist they run on the emblems during these trailers, though. I didn't notice any secrets during that trailer, but I will say that... You know, no homo or anything, but the dude is kind of attractive. And, like, the pure swagger and charisma that he brings to shit like that is actually genuinely impressive. And I'm not rolling for him on my main account. No, 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 no. My second five-star healer is going to be Fushuan. Unless Robin has healing capabilities and she comes out first. Then I'll debate it. Honestly, knowing my luck, they'll come out together. But Fushuan is kind of the priority. Uh, but that being said, let me know. Are you pulling for Aventurine? Are you pulling for Jinglu during her rerun? Are you, pulling, are you waiting on Robin or Fushuan or somebody else? Let me know all that in the comment section down below. Did you notice any secrets I didn't in this trailer? You know, did this trailer convince you to pull for him more than you might have already wanted to? Like the Sparkle one did for me a couple months ago. Let me know all that stuff and anything else in the comment section down below. As well as, of course, maybe, I don't know. Do you want to see me run Honkai Impact 3rd first? Or Gen Genshin Impact first when I start the new games? Because I'm starting those soon. That is 100% true. And I would like y'all's input on which I should do first. I think Impact 3rd probably has more story connection to Star Rail than Genshin. But I could be wrong. That's why I ask for opinions. But yeah, let me know all that stuff and anything else in the comment section down below that you would like me to do. Because, well, comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. That being said, of course, hit like, subscribe, subscribe to the review channel in the description down below. Ring both bells like Facebook, Volter, keep updated with things. 
TikTok Patreon where you get the unedited versions of those and other stuff soon to come. Twitch, subscribe there for benefits. Can do so Twitch Prime for free. Where I do a bunch of Star Rail shiny hunting, etc, etc, etc. I did MOC last night and... Guys, it's kind of a fucking cunt because MOC 12 is literally 100% RNG unless you just have like a godly pulled character and all of the relics are as best as they can be. Yike. That being said, spend the Blaze of King with signing out. Todd for now. Peace. And now, a word from our sponsor. Punking is hard. Anyway, Dubby is another alternative to your traditional energy drinks, monster, rockstar, etc, etc, etc. The person in charge is apparently a much nicer guy than that of G Fuel. And the taste, honestly, might be a little bit better in some ways. So, if you want cool shakers, which the waifu shaker is not currently available, but they might bring them back one day. Some great flavors. And because I am an expert at this, I totally didn't read first. We got Beach and Peach, Dub Slide, and Dragonade. Honestly, sound pretty good. I haven't tried these three. I have tried one so far. <clears throat> Don't remember what exactly that was, but it was a really good flavor, and I'm just really bad at drinking these things that I'm supposed to be drinking to feel better. Though if you want to feel better instead of drinking just plain old water, or some energy drinks that aren't good for you, or supporting somebody that is not that great, don't forget to use my code, the Blazer King, right here, and, well, I think I have one more sponsor for you.